Hi team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab. And in today podcast, we're going to cover ransomware from chaos to billion dollar crime, or you can say evolution of the ransomware, how it impact the cyber economy. Imagine this is your this is you turn your computer and find a message saying your files are locked. Pay one dollar or one million dollar in Bitcoin within a seventy two hour, or everything will be deleted forever. This is not just a threat; it's a reality of hospitals, schools, and business worldwide. Ransomware is not new, but it has evolved into the well-organized billion-dollar industry. From chaotic attacks like WannaCry to sophisticated campaigns, big group like Reveal or DarkSide, ransomware has become digital world's most lucrative crimes. Today, we explore how ransomware started, how it's changed, and why it is more dangerous than ever. and stay till the end because we deep dive into the most devastated ransomware attack so ransomware origin trace back in 1980s something called as a aids trojan and this is early ransomware attack was crude victim receive a floppy disk label as a aids information once install the program encrypt the files and demand a ransom of 189 dollar you know it was a mature but it introduced a world to terrifying concept you know locking someone's data for money and fast forward to the 2010 ransomware evolved into some chaotic mens attack like crypto locker in 2013 show how powerful ransomware could be so crypto locker use encryptions so strong that victim has no way to recover their file without paying and payments were demanded in the bitcoin and making it nearly impossible to trace the attacks but here's a twist while early ransomware was about chaos but modern ransomware is all about precision Today ransomware is not just a random attack it is calculated targeted crime run by the professional group let me break down for you so modern ransomware groups carefully choose a victims like company hospital even government why because the targets can pay millions making their crime worth efforts right second is they use a double exhaustions so attacker don't just lock the data they also steal it if you don't pay they will threaten to public sensitive information so that's what they do and this is where things get really really interesting the groups like r revel and dark sites operate like a business they sell their ransomware tools to other criminals to take the percentage of the ransom payment and it is not just a crime it's now become a business model now let's talk about mid 2021 when ransomware reach a new level of chaos they target a colonial pipeline a largest fuel pipeline in the us which supplying nearly half of the early you know east coast fuel So how they unfolded it hacker from a group dark site infiltrate the colonial network by stealing the single password and you know they did not even target the pipeline operation system they just you know <laughs> locked up the company billing software okay and then dark site demanded 4.4 billion in bitcoin to unlock this file so colonial has shut down the pipeline for nearly a week causing a fuel shortage panic buying and long line at gas station The U.S. government declared a state of emergency, and President Biden called it as a national security threat. But here is a kicker: Colonial paid the ransom by to get the system back online as quickly as possible. Even after paying ransom, recovery was not instant. The attack highlights just how vulnerable critical infrastructure is to ransomware. So, what can we learn from this attack? It is about money, not chaos. So today, attackers are focused on maximizing profits, often targeting organizations that can afford to pay. Backup is a king because best defense against ransomware is having a robust offline backup. If you can restore your data, don't have to pay the ransom. Attacks like Colonial Pipeline show that ransomware is just not just a problem; it's a national security threat. And many companies now invest in cyber insurance, which cover the ransomware payment, and it has also made the attractive target. So ransomware is no longer than a nuisance; it's a weapon. And here is a question: Where do the ransomware group operate? How do they sell their tools, collect the payments, recruit the new members? I already covered the podcast on dark webs. Do check that, which give you a great insight on that. And do let me know how do you finding this series. And I will work more on those and bring more and new case studies, which give you great insight of the new way of cyber functions. This is all from my side. Do let me know how do you find the podcast. Do subscribe to channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. Thank you so much. Good day. Bye.